Ready for a tackle another one? Yeah, let's knock it out. All right, here we go. This one says, hi, Brock. I broke up with a boyfriend about six months ago, and it was a mutual decision. He moved on to another state, and we decided that long distance would not work for us. A few months after breaking up, I met another guy on a dating app. He is a very nice guy, and I do like him. In fact, I think I moved on from my ex to some extent because of him. But now, I think he's falling for me. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. The thoughts of my ex-boyfriend does carry does cross my mind at times, and I think about our past together a lot. Is this normal? Sometimes I feel like I'm being unfair to this current guy. What should I do? And this was sent in by Anonymous. Uh, like I said just a little bit ago, the way you're feeling is completely normal, especially if you've been in a relationship with somebody for quite a while. You're going to naturally have thoughts about them. But what we do need to do is make sure that we're doing everything possible to live in the now. And one of the things that you can really make sure to help you is make sure you're not following them on social media. Make sure you don't have <laughs> stalker uh, accounts. Make sure your friends aren't reporting about your ex, all that type of stuff. Every type of gateway that you can imagine where they can re-enter your life, just make sure all those are completely closed. Uh, the next thing is understand that places are still just going to remind you of that person. It's, it's going to be completely normal, but your number one job is to continue trying to go to maybe some of those same places, maybe go to new places and build new memories. Because if you have no new memories to build upon, you're only going to have to, your mind's only going to re, you know, like revert back to the past experiences that you've had. So um, until you start really opening yourself up to this new guy that you're dating, who sounds like a really good dude, uh, and and you're, you know, you've already done the hard part. He's already fallen for you. Yeah. Um, just really give him a, a solid shot. Make sure that you're living in the present. Give him the opportunity to take you places to build new memories and things like that. But um, 100%, the way that you're, you're feeling like, you know, is it normal for me to still be thinking about your ex? Yes, it is completely normal and you will have that experience. And, you know, if you and this current guy don't work out, I'm sure you'll, you'll once in a while, you'll think about him. That is completely normal because in dating, what, what are we going to do? We're going to compare our current with our past and make sure that we are making progress, make sure that we're um, matching up with the best quality candidate. And the way that we actually do that is we pick the types of behaviors that we really liked about somebody that we once dated. Maybe it didn't work out for whatever reason. They, they checked off some boxes, but not others. Now you have a more detailed list of standards that you want the future person to take care of you with. Like that's what you're going to expect. So um, thinking back about your, your exes is a perfectly normal thing to do. So don't, don't think that uh, the current guy isn't worthy of your time or that you're sabotaging things. Just as long as you're not letting the ex back into your life, you're going to be in good hands. Yeah. So judging, mm -hmm. and we can only go by the email that we receive, of mm -hmm. course. And sometimes there's always follow-up questions that I'm sure you would love to ask. <laughs> right. Times. Um, but you don't see any red flags right here for, for mm -hmm. her standpoint or his, really. It's just one of these things that yeah. she's working through. No, I mean, it, it sounds perfectly normal. And, um, you know, we don't get to see how long you were dating your, your ex. We just see that you haven't in six months. That right. was a six-month-ago thing. Uh, but like I said, try to just be as in the now as possible. Make sure he's not able to, to um, access you. Make sure you're not following him. Try to be as present as as you possibly can give the current guy as much of your attention and focus as you possibly can. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's honestly the, the best dating advice I can give you in this type of situation. I think it's nice too, for people that may be listening and maybe on their, they're on the other end. Maybe they have a, a significant other that once in a while will bring up a memory or whatever, and they get a little butt hurt about it. Sure. People do have that. Sure. It, it kind of hurts the feelings. Wait a second. You're remembering them, not me. Mm -hmm. It's a good kind of uh, note to think about is mm -hmm. that they did live a life mm -hmm. at one point and they should sure. be able to at least reflect on those memories. Yes. And, and the thing is, is like that, that ex that you're thinking about probably made you a better partner. You know, if, if you did the, the work of healing and, and learning where your, your contribution was to the relationship, not working out for whatever reason, that person, oh, like you owe them almost a little bit of gratitude. It's like, Hey, thank you for developing me into a better version of myself and allowing me to give even more to the, to the next person who I'm going to be sharing my life with. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, kind of, kind of be thankful to the ex and 
and give all that, give all those positive lessons to the person you're currently dating. Yeah. I think Ariana Grande said it perfectly with thank you next. Thank you <laughs> next. Yes. Nailed it. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Brock. And thank you to Anonymous for writing in. Again, that email is Gino, G-I-N-O at W-D-O-D radio.com. You can send it in and we'll tackle your question next week. Until next time, Brock, thank you so much. Thanks for having me, Gino.